Here's a drum, really good looking drum. From my perspective, it comes out of a factory. You stick it on the truck, take it to a port, take the port authorities, stick it on the ship, bring it to Australia, put it in a warehouse, stick it on another truck, bring it to you. I'm going to have that cost. Everyone's going to have that same cost. So realistically, probably going to be the same. So if you look at transport, infrastructure, all the other bits and pieces, they're all about the same. If I look at the tech, it gets traded give or take. Currently it's sitting at what, about? Three, three sixty. Yeah. So it costs us that much. When the price goes up, we don't get special three sixty dollar price. We get the same price as everyone else in the world because they're factories. They want to make money. So when you look at it, your tech price, the cost of this drum, the label, the packaging, the pallet, that all costs the same regardless of whether it's around a Boltramax or a, you know, a locally made someone whatever. So when you look at the tech and your packaging, you can pretty much say two thirds of the costs are set. Everyone's going to be the same. The only things you get to play with is the surfactant in the drum, really. That's what you can manage. So I can have a betaine which is that top one. It's actually cents per litre. I can have one, two, four grades of a taloamine ethoxylate. It depends on the carbon chain length. And the variation in there can be $1.30 down to about 60 cents. So there's a fair variation just in those. Or I can do, what's really simple is, I could use ethylene glycol, because to be honest, by Australian standards, the surfactant in there is defined as a surfactant. Anything that changes surface tension is a surfactant. So I could actually put alkaline water in there and that would be classed as a surfactant, legally. I can put ethylene glycol in there. I can put tea or coffee or anything. Unfortunately, the way things are set up, if you look at a safety data sheet, you cannot tell. So it's actually not working for you. So my advice is, if it looks cheap, and if someone's out in the market space and it is low price, I've got to question what's in there. Because I know that that there, you can't cut. It's going to be the same for everyone. So you've got to be able to cut something.